guys, welcome back to Nerdy Tea Collectibles. Who's ready to dive into a giant box from Whatnot? Stay tuned. for stopping in today i greatly appreciate it now i've got one box or actually i've got two boxes from one um whatnot game and here's the big giant box you guys can see um so uh in this whatnot stream this was during whatnot con so in this whatnot stream um they were doing um <clears throat> 15 spots you get to spin a wheel and whatever uh, the prize lands on is what you get to keep or you could do five for 60 which is $12 a spot so why wouldn't you do $60 right at least once well I was having fun with it so I decided to um, <laughs> go in a little hard and I played a couple rounds so um, <clears throat> but first off guys so this is Oh, okay. So this is some of the stuff that I won during those spins. And uh, again, like you, like I said, you got five spins for $60, which was $12 a piece instead of 15 what they were auctioning. So I was like, okay, well, I'll try it. So <clears throat> I'm not a huge Funko card collector, but I ended up with a bunch of them. So here we go. We're going to go over some. So I did happen to get a graded Doctor Strange, or no, excuse me. Yeah, this is a Doctor Strange Ancient one. This is a Platinum, and this is a Gem Mint 10. So that's um, the best you can get um, on any graded anything. So whether it's uh, um, <clears throat> comics or um, cards, sports cards or anything. So... I thought that was kind of cool. Um, here's the next one. Uh, the Collector in a, in a 10.0 as well. So there's that. And I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the, the cards, the Funko cards that I got. I did get a Redemption one. So I'll, I'll probably be redeeming that. I'm pretty sure I already have one. I think I bought it from Joey when he was doing his on whatnot or Smiley Fig. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then um, we got a couple sodas here. I'll show you guys those here in a minute. Let me get them open. So, um, first off, this is just a common Corito uh, from Sword Art Online. However, like it's hard to find this one. And even when he first came out, it was kind of hard to find this one. Um, so it's 12,000 pieces. Um, <clears throat> He's obviously not open, but I'm going to show him off anyways, because he's actually got a great detail. Um, so it's really, really cool. A really, really cool soda. Um, so for all my anime fans, this one is definitely a cool one to have. Um, the chase is, uh, I think it's glow and he's got another sword in his hand or something like that. So really, really cool. Um, but this one's been out for a while, uh, but again, it's hard to find. I haven't really seen a lot of them, and if you do, they get snatched up really really quick. So um, if anybody, any of my anime fans are, are looking for this one, uh, let me know. Hit me up. I'll uh, shoot it over to you. So, uh, <clears throat> All right, and then I spun the wheel, and I was able to, I actually won a chase, believe it or not, um, on the wheel spin. So... Um, they gave me a choice and I chose the Maleficent. Um, because who doesn't love this fire Maleficent chase, you guys? Like with all the fire in the back, I think this is absolutely cool. This is a really cool um, chase to have in your collection. So really, really awesome. I'll show you guys the pog really quick. Um, obviously this isn't one that I need, but it's still, still really cool to have. So there we go. All right. Uh, 
All right, so that empties that box. Oops. That empties that box. So now, let's dive into the big one. Here we go. I'm not sure how I feel about this because it's kind of crushed. So I'm hoping that, you know, nothing's damaged on the inside because I did get a couple really cool things in here. So, all right. So again, five wheel spins. These are very well packed, I do have to say. Um, a, a lot of mystery grail um, boxes, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let me just get some of these out and then we'll go over them. How's that? So. And like I said before, I kind of had a little fun with these, so, um, yeah. fun y'all but I sure feel like I'm opening a lot here all right so so this is for my buddy Mike in the blue team y'all know who that is so um, I don't know how I ended up with this but here we go so this is for Mike this is Fantasia, the uh, Rewinds. So I'm not sure if this is the Chase. Uh, I think, uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's just the Common. But here you go, Mike. There you go. One of my first Rewinds that I own in my collection. So Mike, um, this one's for you. I might send it to you. We'll see. So, all right. Um, and then the, the next little thing in this package is a terror claw skeleton or skeletor excuse me um pop, pocket pop so that's pretty cool special edition stick sticker i think it was a hot topic topic the hot topic exclusive if i'm not mistaken all right so let's start with this one um gosh it's cool that they put these in pot protectors, but they didn't take the plastic off of the pot protector before they put the pop in there. So that the pops kind of, or it looks kind of filmish. And then on top of it, they put my name on every single thing, which is cool, but whatever. All right. So here is the mayor, um, from the nightmare before Christmas. This is, uh, the artist series pop. Um, and all of them came in hard stacks, but everybody takes the hard stacks off. I not, never understood that. I mean, they came in a hard stack, so I always try to keep them sealed, but a lot of people take them off. So um, <clears throat> this one's obviously without the hard stack. So it's gonna go back in the pop protector here and um, I'll probably, I don't know what I'll do with it because Nightmare Before Christmas is not a line that I necessarily collect or go after, so. I think I just finally first watched the movie just, uh, this last year or something. So, anyways, there's there's uh, the mayor. All right, the second pop here is uh, Karath from uh, Captain Marvel. This is a um, ECC 2019 um, shared sticker. So Karath from Captain Marvel. Sorry guys, but I, I, I like to show it without the film on the, the pop protector. So that's why I'm taking them out. So bear with me guys. I apologize that it's taking kind of a little bit longer than I had planned. So, all right. And then this one, you know, I kind of like this show because it's kind of like a mix of everything. You got sodas, you got pops, you got uh, the Funko cards, you got the pop uh, pocket pops. 
It was kind of a fun little show. So I got uh, Daryl Philbin um, from The Office here. So there's another pop that I got. Not an Office fan. Um, you can knock me if you want to. I don't care, but um, I never never watched it. Maybe it'd be funny, but I just I haven't sat down and watched any of it. So, all right. And then next we've got. I know a lot of people might be interested in this pop, just because of who it is and what it is. So this is uh, Star Wars Princess Leia uh, Yavin. Yavin. This is a special edition sticker, but um, she's holding the medal like she is on the soda. So that's kind of the cool thing. So this this soda actually ma or this pop actually matches the chase of the soda that uh, we have. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, tidbit information there. So here's uh, Princess Leia. <clears throat> so that's cool pop um i'm not a star wars fan so again like i this was just for fun um but um i i not not there's a lot of these pops that i wouldn't necessarily collect on a regular basis it's just it was fun i was i was enjoying myself and i was actually trying to go for some other things so um unfortunately those weren't there so or i didn't get them they didn't land on my wheels so here is um i'm gonna try to take a guess on this uh this is funko cage tokoyami um i'm sorry guys i'm not a my hero fan so, uh, if, if you are, I apologize if I butchered the name. Um, but yeah, so there's a My Hero Academia pop. So if you guys are interested in looking for this pop, let me know. This is a 2013 pop. So it's one of the newer ones, but still a cool pop. Half dragon, half person. Kind of neat. Or it looks like a dragon, maybe a lizard. I'm not sure. But anyways. And then, um, this one's cool. This is Mimic the Monkey from the Pez line. So this is an ad icon. Um, I used to have this one a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so there's actually a few of them here. So if you guys look, um, but there's actually a blonde Pez girl. And I want to say there's a redhead Pez girl as well. Um, so that's not necessarily the complete line. But yeah, here this one is from 2019. So cool pop to have in the in a collection if you guys are ad icon fans. And then this one um, is for the Disney fans. Um, I like these. I don't know if I'd necessarily keep this because it's not necessarily a line that I collect. Um, but this is the Make a Wish Mini um, pops with a purpose. So these are really, really cool. So um, this was from 2021, I wanna say. 20, yeah, 2021, 2022. Um, so uh, they they raised a bunch of money for Make-A-Wish by selling uh, these pops. So really cool. So And Make-A-Wish is, is always a, a good thing to be a part of. Um, so yeah, really cool. All right, and then I've got a couple more things, and then we're going to be done for the day. So stay tuned, guys, as soon as I get this pop back in its pop protector. So, all right, here we go. These are cool. These are things that you don't necessarily see on a regular basis. Um, it's not necessarily something that I would collect. Um, however, they are rare. They're different, right? So, so they're, they're cool something different right um these are funko items just so you guys all know um and definitely something something to have in the collection so these are what they call hikaris so this is a 2000 piece hikari this is obviously skeletor masters of the universe which this one's really cool look at all the diamond glittery glitter in it and stuff it's it's a really really neat neat hikari so really really awesome 
Um, this is from 2014. So really cool. Um, but this is a Funko product, guys. So if you look on the bottom, this is a Funko product, believe it or not. So um, really cool, something to pick up. So there we go on that one. So, and then this one's really cool because it's different. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Um, and I, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that I, I, I have it. So um, this is... Uh, the Sheriff, and this is a Hikari as well, so this is also a Funko, but they call them Hikaris. This is also from 2014. Um, ooh, shoot. But this is really cool. These are actually numbered, so if you look, this is 487 out of 50, and that's the Sheriff, the card. So the Gray Skull the sheriff and I'll show this off a little bit more this actually comes in like a coffin shaped a coffin shaped box right guys so it's really really cool uh, I'm gonna actually take them out just to, to see um, this is a 500 piece again guys so uh, but what's really cool about it is like it's wrapped in black so like the plastic holder that holds the the the, the figure itself is actually wrapped in black so like in a uh, like he's in a yeah so that's really cool so really really neat um so this is the sheriff guys so um i'm not exactly sure what the sheriff is from um but really really cool so this is limited to 500 so i will show him off a little bit more so Really, really neat. Kind of creepy. But definitely something cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's a Funko product. So if you guys see, it says Funko on there. Well, it's upside down, but it does say Funko 2014. Right there, guys. So, um, yeah, this is really neat. It's, it's like I said, it, it, it's kind of creepy. So put him back in his box we'll, we'll lay him back to rest huh so um really cool uh something hop and ghost is what it says on here so um it's different it's neat i do have one hokari um and i'd love to get another one or a couple actually because in that show they actually had stitch hokaris and i didn't even know they existed otherwise i probably would have already had one uh, but the Stitch Hikaris are kind of going for a little bit more than what I like to spend on my collectibles. So I was kind of like, Ugh. so um, anyways, it's, it's like over $100. So um, I'm not, well, I guess I could, I could spend that, but I just don't. Uh, so the, I would love to get a, a Stitch Hikari and I would love to get a Harley Quinn Hikari to go with my Joker Hikari that I have in my other room, uh, with my pops. So he's, he's over there with the, hanging out with the pops. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. That was a fun, fun game, uh, during Whatnot Con. I spent a lot of time over there just hanging out, checking it out. I was kind of hoping that, you know, some other people would come in and, and buy, but Hey, you know what? That's all right. Um, I got this really cool 500 piece Hikari and, um, you know, that, that wonderful glitter Skeletor, which is really freaking cool. So, um, but yeah, so here he is back in his prison there, guys. So really, really cool. But all right, guys. Um, thank you for, for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you for, for watching what I picked up, um, on the, on whatnot. I, I appreciate you guys. Um, so if you guys haven't, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys help new collectors. So whether that is sending them an A-OK -okay, or just helping them by answering questions for them, supporting them in their their hobby as well. Because a lot of us are, are, are more experienced. I mean, I've been around the block for a while. And so I know, like, a lot of stuff about Funko, about sodas about comics and stuff like that so if there's a new collector don't be afraid to support them so all right guys thank you for hanging out with me i will see you guys on the next one bye